Are you ready? Are we ready? I see we're recording. Yep, ready whenever okay. you are. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. The appointed hour of 5 o'clock p.m. has been reached, and I welcome everyone to the meeting of the Amherst Design Review Board. I'm Catherine Porter, Chair of the Design Review, Amherst Design Review Board, and I'm calling this meeting to order. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, GLC 30A, Section 18, and the governor's March 15th, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place, this public hearing of the Town of Amherst Design Review Board is being conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but the public can attend tonight's virtual meeting by using the Zoom login information provided on the meeting agenda listed on the meeting calendar, which is provided on the Town of Amherst website. We will begin with a roll call of the members of the Design Review Board who have been impaneled for the consideration of the items on tonight's agenda. Board members, please indicate yes or aye when I call your name. Lindsay Schnarr. Yes. Janet Marquard. Erica Zikos. Yes. Tom Long. Yes. Uh, and I would ask if there are any disclosures. And I understand Jan's on her way, so she can indicate when she's here. Also in attendance is Maureen Paula, planner and staff liaison to the Design Review Board. The Design Review Board and its accompanying zoning regulations were created by town meeting in October 1983. The charge and purpose of the Design Review Board under Section 3.2 of the zoning bylaw is to preserve and enhance the town's cultural, economic, and historical resources by providing for a detailed review of all changes in land use, the appearance of structures, and the appearance of sites which may affect these resources. The Design Review Board exercises this responsibility by providing design review and recommendations to private applicants and permit granting boards within specific overlay zoning districts in the town center. The Design Review Overlay District and the Town Common Design Review Overlay District. Design review was also provided for town departments and permit granting boards with respect to town projects anywhere in Amherst, which will result in substantial alteration to the form or appearance of a structure or site. All design review board meetings are open to the public and are recorded by town staff. Each meeting recording will be uploaded to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel for public viewing. The procedure is as follows. The petitioner presents the application to the board during the meeting after which the board will ask questions for clarification or additional information. And at this point, uh, I need to uh, inform uh, anybody from the public who may be interested in attending tonight that Archipelago has requested uh, that they not, uh, we not discuss their uh, proposal tonight, they are not ready. So as a result, we are not going to be discussing the Archipelago uh, in uh, either project, DRB FY2021-12 or DRB FY2021-13. Um, and uh, I think that is, all I need to say uh, about our situation tonight. Um, so having made that clear, I hope, and we have Jan Marquard, I think, did, did Jan check in? I'm here. Yeah, okay, all right. So you, okay, so you heard me, Jan, say we're not, have, we're not going through, we're not gonna have the review tonight or the hearing. Um, so, uh, one item that we do need to attend to is finding another night for us to meet. And I think 
through all the doodles that uh, Maureen has been sending out, we did find one or two nights that seemed to be um, appropriate. So Maureen, do you want to see if we can, sorry, my phone's ringing here. Oh, sure. Uh, so at least according to some recent doodle polls, uh, members um, have indicated that they're available to continue uh, this uh, review um, of these applications on either Thursday, June 3rd, uh, Tuesday, June 8th, and Monday, June 14th. Um, I would add that so uh, Kyle Wilson, who represents Archipelago, um, sent an email to the DRB uh, probably about 4.30 today asking uh, to postpone the, tonight's review uh, and that he, uh, if possible, could have your continued review to be held um, any time after uh, June 2nd. And that's when the planning board is continuing their public hearings uh, relative to these applications. So uh, again, the availability dates, at least that, that were indicated before, were uh, uh, Thursday, June 3rd, Tuesday, June 8th, and Monday, June 14th. So if you want to um, just double check if those still okay. work. Those dates and, are still good for me. So I'm. And I, I will add that we do have uh, a meeting already scheduled for Monday, June 7th uh, for uh, some other um, applications. So I just want to to let you know in case you don't want to have a bunch of meetings in one week so okay what is tomorrow's meeting then that is for the new restaurant that's being proposed at 17 kellogg avenue okay and june 7th was for that, the other mexican restaurant no that originally that item was going to be on june 7th but um they um asked if they could be uh, pushed pushed up um, due to their, uh, they would like to open if possible this weekend or next week. So um, that's why we pushed up the June, uh, tomorrow's date um, for the new restaurant. Um, so for June 7th, it will be uh, the town of Amherst is proposing two new uh, bike share locations. Oh, right. And- well, combine these things into a single meeting some of this we stuff. could if if you you know if um and then there's two other items which would be uh the town is also uh proposing signage at the west cemetery um and that needs uh to be reviewed on, Ju on june 7th and there's a third item goberry goberry is updating their branding and um so they would like the or the town needs uh, the DRB to review th their uh, proposed signage. So it doesn't really sound like we can combine them because the archipelago yeah. needs two hours, and the folks who we're meeting with tomorrow asked to be sooner, and then the June seventh has a full agenda. Yeah. So I think we're going to have to do a separate time. So canceled tonight so let's why don't we start with the um first of those open dates uh maybe the sooner the better which one would that be maureen would that be june june 3rd june so 3rd. That, that would be the night after the planning board meets yeah. regarding um is the sooner the better or you know i'm just wondering because if, are they going to want to put it off again or you know i don't want to keep meeting twice a week here this is I, yeah what i've got going on um i hear you so um well how about june 3rd um uh, uh, and then june 7th and if yeah. if archipelago or archipelago however they say their name wants to change it let us know and and we'll push it to the 14th or whatever and not meet on the third because there's really no point to get together just to reschedule a meeting, right? Well, we have, of course, because of the charter, we have to, as Marine said, we have to have the meeting tonight to- because Oh, well, because it was published as a public yes, meeting. Yes, okay. yeah, so. Okay, so, uh, so back to the schedule. Um, I think, so um, any of those proposed evenings in the 3rd, the 8th, or the 14th is 
are good for you? Fine. Five to seven. Five, five to seven. Yeah. Good. I'm fine. How about uh, Lindsay and Tom and uh, Jan? I can do any of them. Yeah. Not all of them. <laughs> okay, we already have the seventh. That's what think about June the third. I would suggest the third as the first option. Okay. The fourteenth as the second, and the eighth as the third. That's my okay. That's how I would prioritize them. Okay. But they're Actually, all okay. Okay. Um, never mind. I just looked at my calendar and I thought I had a night meeting on the third, but I don't. Um, so the third, and then the next site, it would be uh, your preference, Lindsay, would be the third or the 14th. I think so. Does that sound right to everybody? Just to not have back That's to back. The earliest. That's the earliest we can, if we can't meet on the third, was that our next alternate time? Is that what you're saying? Was there something 14th. in between there? 14th, okay. Mm -hmm. And well, I would I, say that you, uh, there were some other dates that worked with you, but uh, I also have other uh, night meetings. So I had to sort of. Okay. Well, let's do the third. If everybody agrees, June 3rd. And um, okay. we'll see. Okay, very okay. good. And I did briefly speak to uh, the applicant on the phone and I specifically asked him if uh, what dates work with you? I said, since I have you on the phone, what dates work with you? And he said, I'm available anytime other than June 2nd. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, then we've got this. Um, so now, uh, Maureen, do you have anybody in the, uh, out there in the public? For, pu for the general public yes. uh, period? If we have any... If there's anybody from the public who has a general comment that is not related to the Archipelago project, uh, we would invite you to make that comment. Otherwise, please uh, save your comments regarding the Archipelago project until we meet uh, on um, June 3rd. Okay, and uh, so, if there are any members of the public that wish to speak, you could press the raise your hand function or press star nine if you're calling in from tele from a telephone. Okay. Um, okay, we do have a, uh, we have someone. Okay, um, Janet Keller. If you could sp uh, state your name and your address, um, you should be able to speak. Sure. Um, Thanks, Janet Keller, uh, Pulpit Hill Road. Um, may I ask a question about the sequence of the meetings? Is that in order? Sure. That? Okay. So, um, is it, it's going to be heard heard on um, in front of the planning board on um, June two, and is there a chance that they would? decide um, and rule on it on June 2? And if so, would that preclude you having yeah. more uh, comment before that? So Maureen, what's the... Yeah, so uh, Janet, you're correct. The planning board is continuing their public hearings relative to uh, the archipelago uh, proposals uh, the planning board is very interested in hearing uh, the recommendations made by the design review board. So uh, I believe that they would keep uh, their public hearing open until they hear uh, from the design review board. Uh, additionally, I, I think that, you know, they're, regardless of the DRB, I, I believe that there's still more things for the planning board to review. So. I think that there should be, you know, at least, uh, you know, two more uh, meetings relative to the planning board. Okay. I mean, is there any way we as design review board can request that they leave the meeting open? I mean, uh, sure. I can see Janet's point and our point too, why would we meet if they make their decision without hearing from us? So could we, uh, if, the, if the rest of the board members uh, would, 
support that, that we make an official request to the planning board to uh, wait until we have reviewed the proposal. Does that make sense to the rest of you? Uh, it well, does because we serve in an advisory capacity to yeah. the planning board. I think that exactly. they, yeah. they won't it, have historical commission's recommendation yet either. And we're oh really okay. We're yeah, there's deliberating a lot of the back fence and the um, cemetery. So okay, so there'll be yeah okay. No. But but you you guys are more than welcome to send a specific message to the planning board and state that you wish that the planning board keep, uh, keep the public hearing open until the design review board has, you know, adequately reviewed the project and has provided recommendations to okay. the planning board. Okay, I could probably do that as the chair, send something to the planning board, but that, mm -hmm. would that be a, yeah. Tom, you're on the planning board, right? Yeah. <laughs> so okay. All right, I can, I can share that message. Okay. I can write, I can write something up. All your, right. Good. Your sense is that it, it's ongoing, though. That it'll yeah, I don't think we're going to have any decisions. Um, okay. As far as I could tell from what Chris um, mentioned at the last meeting, was that there were several things that were still ongoing. Historic board being one of them, and um, several other things that are more um, uh, infrastructural and things like that. Okay, so we're okay then. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll pass along the message. Hold them off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll okay. Do. All right. All right. Are there any other comments from the uh, public? General comments not related to Archipelago. You see anything? Uh, no. Nope, no. Nope. Okay. Okay. Well. Then I don't see any other business for us tonight. Well, you know, uh, here's one other thing you could do, which is on the agenda. Uh, it's the review. Uh, it's the approval of the meeting minutes um, from last time, if you guys want to take care of that. Anybody? Uh, I honestly, I didn't go through them myself yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. We go. Any other, uh, any other business? Then we can put those minutes off. If not, do I hear a motion that we adjourn and we meet again tomorrow night? Move. Jan? <laughs> Tom, are you, did you move to uh, move, yes. Okay, Ari has been moved. Um, second. Seconded, okay, it's moved and seconded. All right, we are adjourning. Thank you, everybody. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, Jan. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> The timing okay. tomorrow is